Extinction is a natural process that has shaped Earth's biodiversity for millions of years. However, with the rapid decline of numerous species due to human activities, scientists are exploring the possibility of using advanced genetic techniques to bring back certain extinct animals. Welcome back to Nature Decoded. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of de extinction, where science and conservation collide to bring back some of the most incredible creatures that once roamed our planet. This process, known as de extinction, holds the potential to resurrect iconic species that have disappeared from the Earth. In today's video, we'll explore a list of captivating extinct animals and delve into the intricate process of their potential revival. Before we begin, please consider subscribing to our channel as it really motivates us to bring out more interesting and informative content for you. So, without further ado, Let's jump right in and discover the incredible world of bringing extinct species back to life. Number 1. Woolly Mammoth or Mammothus primigenius The woolly mammoth, a relative of modern elephants, roamed the northern hemisphere during the Pleistocene epoch. It was adapted to cold environments, with long fur and impressive tusks. The extinction efforts for the woolly mammoth are some of the most high-profile and ambitious. The process involves several key steps. DNA Extraction Researchers extract DNA from well-preserved mammoth carcasses found in Siberian permafrost. Gene Editing Using CRISPR-Cas9 technology, specific genes from the mammoth genome are inserted into the genome of an Asian elephant, the closest living relative to the mammoth. Surrogate Mothers The genetically modified elephant embryos are implanted into surrogate Asian elephant mothers for gestation. The ultimate goal is to create a population of woolly mammoth-like creatures that can be reintroduced into the Siberian wilderness. Number 2. Stellar Sea Cow or Hydrodomalus gigas Stellar Sea Cow was a massive marine mammal that inhabited the waters of the Bering Sea. It had a thick layer of blubber and was a slow-moving herbivore. The extinction efforts for Stellar Sea Cow involve a combination of genetic engineering and selective breeding. Genome Reconstruction Scientists are working to reconstruct the sea cow's genome using genetic material from well-preserved remains. Gene Editing Once a nearly complete genome is available, CRISPR technology and gene editing techniques can be used to modify the genomes of living marine mammals with similar ecological roles. Captive Breeding after creating a population with sea cow-like traits, captive breeding programs may be initiated to increase their numbers. The goal is to reintroduce a herbivorous marine mammal that could play a vital role in the ecosystem. Number 3. Tasmanian Tiger or Thylacinus cynocephalus The Tasmanian Tiger, or Thylacin, was a marsupial predator native to Tasmania and mainland Australia. It had a unique appearance with a slim body, stiff tail, and striped back. The extinction efforts for the Tasmanian tiger involve a process similar to cloning. DNA Extraction Scientists have been working to extract DNA from preserved thylacine specimens, including skins and tissues. Genome Sequencing Once DNA is successfully extracted, Researchers sequence the thylacin genome to identify the genes responsible for its unique characteristics. Cloning The next step involves using cloning techniques to create embryos containing thylacin DNA, which could potentially be implanted into surrogate marsupial mothers. While challenging due to the degraded state of thylacin DNA, these efforts aim to bring back this charismatic marsupial. Number 4 Dodo or Raphis cucullatus The dodo, a flightless bird native to Mauritius, became extinct in the late 17th century. It had a unique appearance, with a plump body, large beak, and small wings. The extinction efforts for the dodo involve a process known as genetic engineering. 
fossil analysis. Scientists study dodo fossils to gain insights into its appearance, behavior, and genetic makeup. Comparative genetics DNA from related species like pigeons and doves is compared to dodo remains to identify the closest genetic relatives. Gene synthesis Using the genetic information gathered, scientists synthesize dodo genes and insert them into the genomes of closely related bird species. The ultimate goal is to create birds that closely resemble the extinct dodo. Number 5. Caspian Tiger or Panthera tigris vergata The Caspian tiger was one of several tiger subspecies native to regions around the Caspian Sea. It was known for its large size and powerful build. The extinction efforts for the Caspian tiger involve a two-step process. Genome Reconstruction Researchers are working to reconstruct the Caspian tiger's genome using DNA from preserved specimens and genetic data from living tiger subspecies. Backcrossing Once a near-complete genome is available, Backcrossing involves breeding living tiger subspecies with the closest genetic match to the Caspian tiger, gradually introducing Caspian tiger traits. Successful de-extinction could result in the reintroduction of Caspian tiger-like tigers into their former habitats. Number 6. Pyrenean Ibex or Capra Pyrenaica Pyrenaica the Pyrenean ibex, a subspecies of the Iberian ibex, was native to the Pyrenees Mountains. It was known for its distinctive curved horns and agile mountain-dwelling behavior. The Pyrenean ibex was the first species to undergo an attempted de-extinction, albeit temporarily. The process involved Nuclear transfer Scientists extracted nuclei from preserved Pyrenean ibex cells and inserted them into domestic goat eggs with their nuclei removed. Surrogate mothers The embryos were then implanted into domestic goat surrogates to carry the pregnancy to term. Despite the birth of a cloned Pyrenean ibex in 2003, it died shortly after birth due to lung complications. This attempt highlighted the challenges of de-extinction. Number 7. Quagga or Equus quagga quagga. The quagga was a subspecies of the plains zebra native to South Africa. It was characterized by a unique pattern, with stripes on the front half of the body and a brownish reddish coat on the rear half. De extinction efforts for the quagga focus on selective breeding to recreate its unique appearance and genetic traits. Selective breeding. Researchers selectively breed zebras that display quagga-like traits, aiming to produce individuals that closely resemble the extinct subspecies. Phenotype Restoration The goal is to achieve animals that not only look like quaggas but also possess similar behaviors and ecological roles. While not a true resurrection using genetic engineering, these efforts aim to mimic the quagga's appearance and role in its ecosystem. Number 8. Passenger Pigeon or Actopists Migratorius The passenger pigeon was once one of North America's most abundant birds, known for its massive flocks that darken the skies during migration. The extinction efforts for the passenger pigeon involve a combination of genetic engineering and selective breeding. Genome Reconstruction Scientists are working to reconstruct the passenger pigeon's genome using preserved specimens and DNA samples from related pigeon species. Gene Editing Once a nearly complete genome is available, CRISPR technology and gene editing techniques can be used to modify the genomes of living pigeon species to resemble the passenger pigeon. Captive Breeding after creating a population with passenger pigeon-like traits, captive breeding programs may be initiated to increase their numbers. Success in de-extincting the passenger pigeon could involve reintroducing these birds into their former habitats, which would require careful ecological considerations. In conclusion, de-extinction is a complex and controversial field of science that holds both promise and challenges.
While the potential revival of extinct species captivates our imaginations, it also raises ethical, ecological, and practical questions. Each de-extinction effort requires careful consideration, transparency, and a deep commitment to ecological responsibility. As scientific knowledge and technology continue to advance, the possibility of bringing back extinct animals becomes more plausible. However, success in de-extinction will depend on our ability to address these challenges while preserving the delicate balance of Earth's ecosystems. Thanks for staying with us and see you in the next one!